Welcome back to Mongo's Garage. Glad you guys came back. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so what we got for you today is actually KJ's very first ever time changing a tire on our tire machine. It's a Kenco tire machine, manual tire press that uh, I've had been a part of my life ever since I've lived in Buffalo Village so probably since uh, 85 we uh, believe it came with the garage when my dad bought the garage and it, uh, it's a very good tool I've changed I can't even begin to wonder how many tires I've changed on that press but uh, KJ had never seen it before uh, I stole it out of the garage before we shut it down over there brought it over to my place and I went to the floor and well, you guys have seen it in other videos but uh, this was KJ's very first experience with it. You can see here how he's uh, beginning to understand how it works and what everything does. I've done a lot of work to it since then. Ow, that hurt. That'll learn the hard way though, right? I bet you he'll never let that happen. Actually, it won't do that anymore. I've, uh, I've since changed the geometry of the of that pressure bar so that we can use the bigger tires, the, the wider tires. You can see I cut out a lot of the trouble that he actually was having for your viewing pleasure. But uh, with the wider wheels, it doesn't fit underneath of there. You really have to kind of mess with it. But I've changed the geometry of the pusher bar, like I said, so that it works better. Here, uh, I'm trying to figure out how that clamp comes out. Here is uh, I, I actually described to him something I did for him to make it a little easier. Let me show you Look how this is made. It's got a J hook on it. Look, see the J hook? I did something for you that I never had. You see the little mark there? When that mark faces that wall. It'll be locked in. Now, because of this, because of that piece of square stock that keeps that from spinning in there, it only goes on one way. It only goes clockwise. So once that's in, you have to spin this until that mark is all the way against that wall and then you can tighten it. And he did put that pin and that pin in place. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Make sure that's tight. No, no, you tightened it by hand, but I want you to tighten it with the bar. Easy. That's good. Perfect. Too much. You're going to break it. We don't want it broke. Turn that bar over. Turn that bar over. So, yeah, I was giving him some fatherly advice there on how to get the clamp to line up and where it needs to go before you tighten it up. And then he just continues on here with the leverage part using the... Uh, the tire spoon to get that tire off of there. He kind of got it uh, cattywampus here and shoved it, shoved the rod in too far and got it all bound up. And I had to explain to him how the drop center of the rim allows you to get that off of there. And uh, he, he's become a pro at changing tires on it at this point. But uh, so that's it. That's how uh, KJ was introduced to the manual tire machine and and the workout that it does give you as you change tires. But uh, like I. I tell him all the time you get a great sense of accomplishment after changing tires on that machine because you know you actually did something you're not just pushing a couple buttons and watching stuff spin around in front of you so well that's all just wanted to share that with you guys hope you enjoyed it mongo's out take care